what is the difference here between a software engineer and a senior software engineer? And then I guess moving on to engineering manager, are these the levels or how does it, how's this? Yeah, maybe I, I'll, yeah, I can talk a little bit about that. I'll talk about the levels at Google. Uh, other companies have different sure. job titles, but it's the same basic idea. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody coming fresh out of school, brand new college graduate with a computer science degree would probably be hired as a level three software engineer at Google. Um, at that level, we're expecting you to be a really good programmer. You understand mm -hmm. whatever programming language uh, you know to a good degree. It might be that your team is writing in a language that's different than what you're an expert in. It was pretty common for uh, an engineer to come to our team and like, hey, we're doing all our stuff um, in Java and on Android, and they have no experience with either of those things. But they would come up to speed quickly on that because they were smart people and they know how to solve problems. But they, they would generally be teamed up with more experienced engineers who would tell them, here, do exactly this stuff and go go make it happen. And that's essentially what a, a level three engineer can do. With, with guidance, they can complete pretty complex tasks. The next level up from that is level four at Google. And that's the first big first promotion that most engineers get. Um, really what we're looking for at that level of engineering is you can just work independently. You don't need somebody to spoon feed you so much. Mm -hmm. I can give you a fairly big task uh, and you can get it done with a minimal oversight. Uh, you, you'll take you'll think about the edge cases, you'll ask the right questions, you'll make sure you've scoped it right. You might even help level three engineers do the work uh, as, as you're doing it. That, that's kind of the first couple levels. Um, the next level at Google is level five, and that's called senior software engineer. Other companies have different titles for that. The big thing that Google is looking for at that level is influence beyond yourself. Um, and generally what that means is you're solving problems that are bigger than you could possibly do all on your own. Um, the, the, I'm a really good software engineer, but there's just only so much code that can flow out of my hands to, to solve mm -hmm. a problem, right? I'm just limited by my typing speed, by my ability to understand a problem, by the, you know, how much can I focus? So if I can harness the power of multiple engineers and get people focused on a bigger project, that's what senior software engineers do. Um, the other thing I should mention along this path, along this line of like the different levels of engineering is, uh, at least at Google, and I think it's fairly common at uh, other companies as well, promotions are meant to be late. And what I mean by that is you have to show that you're already performing the job at the next level before they'll even think about promoting you to the next level. So if you want to get promoted to senior software engineer, it's not a matter of waiting for your turn to get put in that role and now you're in charge of some other engineers. Rather, show that you have the leadership skills to think about bigger problems and, and can tackle that. Um, moving on from senior software engineers, that was level five. The next promotion at Google is level six or staff software engineer. Mm -hmm. um, the summary that I remember from that uh, in the job description uh, or the, the, the levels of engineering, they, they talk about um, staff engineers create order out of chaos. Um, so, and I think that's a, that's a really nice summary of here's a big complex system. Nobody actually knows what's supposed to happen or there, there's a team that's in chaos and we need to get out of it. Uh, staff engineer mm. is the person that's going to come in there, figure out what needs to be done, herd the cats as necessary. Um, mm -hmm. This is also, I, I would say senior engineers and staff engineers are the ones that are starting to demonstrate they understand the business requirements as much as they understand the technical requirements. Level three and four engineers, it's really fine to be purely technically focused. At the higher mm -hmm. engineering levels, you have to really demonstrate a better understanding of the business because you're part of making decisions that may have business versus technical trade-offs um, rather than just being subject to them. Um, so, uh, so that's staff engineers are mm -hmm. taking big complex problems and wrangling them. Next level beyond that level seven is a senior staff software engineer. Um, the summary of that is you're actually changing the business. 
you have so much technical scope and business understanding that you're actually changing in some significant way what your business unit is doing. Um, so that, that's kind of that level of engineering. Mm. You may not be writing as much code day to day. It really varies from person to person, but generally the people at that level are often focusing more on the big picture of stuff rather than writing code. And then there's are, are you managing a lot of people at this stage or yeah, it's a good people? question. Not necessarily you okay. at all these levels that I've said, you do not need to be managing any people. Um, okay. At Google and most other tech companies, they talk about having a dual ladder. Um, and you can choose to go into management or not, or go back and forth uh, uh, several times, which is actually what I did. I went back and forth between being just a regular engineer and being a manager. Um, essentially, each time I switched teams. Um, so when I joined Google, this was 2008, long time ago. Then during the comp the company sort of had a, had a culture of it's good for people to switch teams. Like every 18 to 24 mm -hmm. months, you ought to go somewhere else. It's good for you. You get exposure to different parts of the company. And it's also good for Google because it sort of spreads the knowledge around to different places. So that's, mm -hmm. that's what I did. Uh, about every 18 or 24 months, I went to a new team. Uh, each time I would go to a new team, I'd, deliberately joined as an individual contributor engineer. I was a, a staff engineer. Um, hmm. I'd usually be on the team for about a year or so, and they'd say, look, we really need management help. We know you've done managing in the past. Please be a manager. And I'd reluctantly agree. Um, I, I got less reluctant about doing management over time. Um, but you know, my, my real passion is writing code and, and crafting the, hmm. the, the, the crafting programs. I, I, I get a lot out of that. It took me a while to realize the thing that I said earlier, which is there's only so much I can do with my hands and I can have a much bigger impact if I can lead a team to do a bigger effort. Mm -hmm. So that, then I kind of embraced being an engineering manager towards the end of my career. At Google. Mm. Got it. And, and, and so that was senior staff engineer you left off at, and then there's engineering manager after that, or what's the next level? Oh, no, I, I should say, yeah, there's a parallel track for engineering manager. So um, okay, right at level five. So level five was uh, senior, yeah, senior engineer, senior software engineer. There's also a level five engineering manager. Um Okay. And that's essentially a, a first line manager. They probably have a team of, let's say, 10 people, be a typical size for somebody at a uh, level five management role. Um, they would all, that, that level five engineering manager is still quite technical. They might be writing code. They're at least reviewing the code on the team. They're definitely deeply involved in technical decisions, design decisions, things like that. Um, and then there's levels of engineering manager. Uh, so just like there's a level six staff software engineer, there's a level six engineering manager. The difference, it, it gets into the same sort of stuff of like order of chaos. It's creating order out of chaos. Um, what's the mm -hmm. scope of the problem you're in charge of? How many people mm -hmm. are you responsible for? At level six, you might start managing other managers. So you, you can imagine that's a much bigger total team size and the other unique challenges of managing other managers. Um, and then there's management levels that continue to go up. Um, at level eight, it's... If you're on the management side, that's a director at Google. Uh, so that, that's a, mm -hmm. a pretty big uh, jump up in responsibility. Um, there is also a level eight engineer, uh, which is, I believe, a principal engineer, if I remember correctly. Um, and mm -hmm. both those folks have a very large scope. They're definitely setting the direction for a larger business unit. Um, Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's probably where we ought to leave off. Like the, there are higher levels that exist, but it, it's so high up that it's not even worth talking about right now. Got it. Got it. Yeah. That's a really good overview. Thanks for sharing that. 